Hello and thanks to you at home for joining us. In this episode, we will answer the question, will a HEPA filter kill COVID-19? But before we get started, please remember to like, share, leave a positive comment, subscribe, and click the bell notification to our channel so we can continue to bring you the latest health and fitness products to improve the lives of your loved ones and yourself. We greatly appreciate it. All right, let's begin. It's critical to think about the air quality that you and your family breathe on a daily basis. Proper air ventilation and filtration in your home can help you avoid illness and minimize the spread of viruses like COVID-19. These measures, however, will not be enough to protect you and your family from COVID-19. They're nothing more than extra levels of defense. So, how do you make your home's air quality better? Here are some suggestions. In general, the more air exchanges between inside and outside, the cleaner it is. COVID-19 transmission is reduced as a result of this exchange. Open windows or doors on opposite sides of the house and leave internal doors open as long as the weather permits to promote cross-ventilation. Run a bathroom fan continually or use a window air conditioner fan with an outdoor air intake vent. Make sure your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system's exterior air intake is open. To circulate air in the home, use indoor fans. High-efficiency particulate air HEPA, filters, which remove microscopic particles from the air, are effective at eliminating pollutants. Portable air purifiers, vacuum cleaners, and heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, such as your furnace, are the most typical household appliances that use HEPA filters. COVID-19 does not propel itself. To travel, it must cling to something else, such as mucus, a respiratory droplet, or a speck of dust in the surroundings. The COVID-19 virus is not killed by a HEPA filter, but the elements that can convey the virus stick to the filter and are unable to circulate in your living space. Because HEPA filters work only when they are turned on, you may need to run your furnace's fan continuously or for extended periods of time. Remember that filters must be cleaned or replaced on a regular basis to work properly, as directed by the manufacturer. Air purifiers, when used appropriately, can help to reduce pollutants in the air. They are however, designed to filter the air in a particular area rather than providing whole house coverage. Here are some pointers on how to get the most of your portable air filter. Keep the air purifier in the room where you spend the most time, or where the most vulnerable persons spend the most time. Direct the air cleaner's airflow so that it does not blow directly from one person to another to reduce the chance of airborne transmission. Increasing your home's ventilation and filtration, which can enhance air quality, is another layer of defense against COVID-19. To protect yourself and your family, combine these methods with other guidelines such as physical separation, frequent handwashing, surface cleaning, and masks. According to studies, properly wearing a mask and exercising excellent social distance can considerably reduce the spread of the coronavirus, COVID-19, via droplet transmission. However, concerns about probable aerosol transmission have prompted many people to choose air purifiers. So, how do different types of air purifiers work? Is there a way to tell if they're effective against COVID-19? Is it worth getting one or more for your home? The majority of air cleaners are either filters or sanitizers. Some units combine the two types. Filters are used to improve indoor air quality by physically eliminating minute particles of matter such as dust, pollen, and pet dander that may be floating around. All of these things occur naturally, but inhaling them can aggravate people's allergies. HEPA filters are the most prevalent form of home filter right now. Sanitizers are used to eliminate bacteria, viruses, mold, and fungal spores that may be present. These things occur naturally as well, but if you're exposed to high enough amounts, they can make you sick. UV light sanitizers are currently the most prevalent type of sanitizer. High Efficiency Particulate Arresting, or HEPA, is an acronym for High Efficiency Particulate Arresting. As the name implies, these filters are excellent in sucking contaminants from the air and holding them in place so that they cannot be recirculated. A HEPA filter's fibers are designed to catch particles as fine as 0.01 microns in diameter, which is less than a tenth of the width of a human hair. UV light devices, on the other hand, have no effect on the environment. Instead, they're designed to expose any viruses, bacteria, or mold spores floating around to UV light, which will kill them. 
Air particles are given an electrical charge by ionizers, which attracts them to anything with an opposing electrical charge. The collector plates within the devices themselves, or other surfaces around the room, could be these objects, walls, carpets, curtains, ceilings, etc. When they find something they like, the particles like to stick around, it's comparable to static electricity. Ozone generators increase the number of atoms in a normal oxygen molecule from 2 to 3. The three-atom molecule is called ozone, not oxygen, and it interacts with its surroundings differently than normal air. HEPA filters, UV light, and ionizers are all acceptable air purifiers. Even in healthy people, though, inhaling ozone can induce coughing, throat discomfort, shortness of breath, and other problems. Ozone can cause lung harm, which is why local weather agencies issue ozone advisories on occasion. People with asthma or other breathing difficulties may be particularly sensitive to air quality, so they should limit their ozone exposure by remaining inside on certain days or avoiding strenuous exercise while outside. Because the coronavirus is at the lower end of the HEPA filter spectrum, a single pass may not be 100% effective. However, if a HEPA system is used for a long period of time, it may remove a large number of viruses, in the upper 90th percentile, 99.94 to 99.97%. Some viruses, including COVID-19, can be rendered inactive by prolonged exposure to UV light in an air purifying system. During the COVID-19 pandemic, your own home is usually the safest place to be. As a result, the average person is unlikely to require an air purifier. This is especially true if you solely socialize with household and friends, wear a mask whenever you leave the house, and maintain effective social distancing habits. However, if someone in your household has COVID-19 or needs to be quarantined until they can be sure they don't have it, it could be a good idea to keep an air purifier in their room with the door shut, if only to protect caregivers from possible exposure. If someone in your household is at extremely high risk of catching COVID-19 or experiencing issues from it, it's also something to think about. Think about the size of the region you wish to cover when buying an air purifier. Air purifiers work best in smaller areas with all doors closed. As a result, open plan spaces will be more challenging to manage. If you have 10 to 12 foot ceilings, you may need to upsize a little. However, if you have a 600 square foot space and a gadget that covers 300 square feet, with a typical air purifier, you would need two. The good news is, the Active Pure Air and Surface Pro can cover up to 3,000 square feet of space, with no problem. If you're not concerned about temperature, humidity, ozone, or other allergens, you could increase air circulation by opening windows or turning on ceiling fans. Make strategic use of box or floor fans, place one to push indoor air out one window, and the other to pull fresh outdoor air in from a separate window. If any of those issues are a concern, close the windows and do the following. Even if the HVAC system doesn't constantly cool or heat the air, set the fan to run continually. Replace the central air return air filter with a better, higher quality filter. Replace the filter on a more regular basis. A 1-inch thick home air filter has a typical lifespan of 90 days. If you use the fan on a regular basis, it should be replaced every 45 days. Keep in mind that unless you have someone in your home with an active COVID-19 infection, you won't be able to reduce or filter out the coronavirus using any of these approaches. As a result, you'll simply be altering the air quality in your home in different ways. Air purifiers aren't a cure-all. As a result, it's critical to think of them as part of your overall plan rather than the entire plan. Let's pretend I'm paying you a home visit, and I'm unaware that I have COVID-19. Even if you have an air purifier nearby, your exposure risk will increase if I sneeze on you from barely two feet away and neither of us is wearing a mask. However, if you live alone and limit your visitors to vaccinated individuals only, your chances of catching the coronavirus from the air in your own home are practically nil. Air purifiers can give an extra layer of protection, but their efficiency is limited when compared to other strategies like wearing a mask, social separation, and sanitizing surfaces. All of them will be far more important in keeping you safe than anything else we've discussed. If you'd like more information about the most top-rated air purification system in the world, the Air and Surface Pro, for your home or office, feel free to check out our website in the description below.
Remember, you must have a password to enter our private website, so contact us if you want to start enjoying the benefits of air purification in the comfort of your home, and we will give you a password so you can place your order. Thanks for taking the time to watch this episode. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a positive comment, and click the notification bell to our channel, so we can continue to bring you the latest health and fitness products to improve the lives of your loved ones and yourself. We greatly appreciate it. See you in the next episode.